Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. This is part two of our Chrome extension development tutorial series, and in this video we're going to be adding a pop-up menu to our extension. And it's going to be a very basic pop-up, it's not actually going to do anything. It's just going to have some text that appears on the screen once we click on our icon up here in the top right. And if you don't see your icon, make sure you just click on the extensions button, and then you can pin your icon to see it. Alright, so let's get started. So inside of your manifest.json file, we're going to add something called permission. And the permission we have, the permission we want to add is the storage permission. And what this is saying is basically it allows us to store things within the user's computer. And next we're going to want to have action. And within this action, we're going to say first with curly braces default underscore pop up and then pop up dot html now what this is saying is that we're first specifying all the actions that our chrome extension is allowed to do and then the default pop up so the default thing that appears once you click on your icon will be this pop up dot html file and as you can see here I created three new files from the last video, popup.html, popup.js, and main.css. If you go into all three of them, you'll notice that they're empty, so I want you to just create three empty files with those names. And now let's hop into popup.html. We're only going to be editing popup.html in this video, but the other ones are going to be useful as we continue with on with this tutorial series. So the first thing we're going to do is specify that this is an HTML document, so doc type HTML. Then within the head of our HTML, we're going to specify the, or we're going to link to both the CSS file and the JavaScript file. So link rel is equal to style sheet. And I'll explain what this means once we're done. And href is equal to main.css. And then for the script, we're going to say script src for source is equal to popup.js. Now this is staying what this is stating for this first line is is stating that this link, this main.css link, is going to be a style sheet. So it's going to be styling this HTML document. And the href or the actual link or the actual URL is going to be main.css. And now within our body, we're just gonna have some simple text. So h1 will say this is a default pop up and now we can save and then update our extension now right now it's saying it's showing an error so let's see what that error is permission storage let's update it again all right so the problem was it's supposed to be permissions and not permission so make sure you add that in if you produce the same error but as you can see once we click on our icon this is a default pop-up shows up and then as we edit our html document so let's add a p tag for paragraph this is a paragraph let's update it as you can see text is added and appended to our pop-up so we're going to be adding buttons we're going to be adding different functionalities to this pop-up as time goes on but this is just the very basic bare bones skeleton of a general pop-up for your chrome extension so if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions leave them down in the comments down below and this has been steam code you can check out all this code in our github link down in the description and i will see you all next time